Albert Einstein brought to the world the understanding that the three dimensions of space from which the manifestations of the cosmos are composed, which includes your own human body, along with the flow from one perceived moment to another being time, are actually one and the same thing. All perceived moments of time are actually locations within the fabric of the space-time continuum, and each of these moments exist simultaneous to the others. What you perceive as your physical self is literally a wave-like portion of the energy within the space-time continuum. As this energy wave that makes up your body flows across the fabric of space-time, you perceive and connect this flow of your energy as the passing of time itself. The energy of yourself, your body, is an interconnected portion of the space-time fabric itself. You are not separate from the fabric of space-time, but rather, you are a portion of the condensed energy that makes up the fabric of space-time. Your true nature can be compared to an analogy of a thread of a tightly woven blanket. This thread flows from one end or one portion of the blanket to another. Each separate weave of the thread of the blanket might perceive itself as a separate entity from all the other weaves, unaware of its higher nature as the thread that connects itself stretching from one portion of the blanket to the other. Although this analogy of the blanket of space-time fabric composed of millions of woven threads of energy strands may serve to illustrate your connection within the fabric of space-time, it should also be understood that the fabric of space-time itself is a continuum with a point of singularity from which all the threads of energy emerge and return in one infinite flow. This point of singularity is what physicists and cosmologists often refer to as the Big Bang. It is also what the mystics throughout all the ages refer to as the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, for it both is the beginning and the end of the universe itself. It is the portion of space-time where all of the woven energy strands merge so tightly that they literally meld into one infinitesimal unified point. From this point of extremely condensed energy emerges all separate energy threads once again. When these newly formed threads emerge from this condensed melded energy point once more, a new fabric of space-time is formed. A new Big Bang occurs, forming a new universe with threads of energy that will once again flow outward and expand from the point of singularity and the cycle is repeated. There is no end to this continuum. It is infinite. Thus the infinite may seem like a paradox, for the universe is both finite and infinite in its nature. The portion of the space-time continuum where all energy is once again melded into an infinitesimal point of singularity is a state of both perfection and chaos combined. It is a sublime paradox. This point of singularity within the space-time continuum is a state of perfection because all matter and energy that comprises the universe is in a melded state of undifferentiation. It is literally one thing, a unified essence without separation. This point of singularity is also pure chaos because in this unified state all laws of known physics as we have come to know them such as the strong, the weak force, electromagnetism and gravity no longer apply. Everything breaks down, every law of physics. From this unified singularity as energy once again expands and condenses into another big bang New laws of physics may be created depending upon how the new universe forms as energy once again differentiates. No two universes are exactly the same. The laws that apply to the expansion of one universe may not apply to other universes that have emerged from the singularity. Each new universe is unique in its creation, in its structure, in its composition, and in its laws. 
Because the point of singularity, where new universes emerge as all energy expands and condenses, is an actual location within the space-time continuum, any particular individualized universe may appear from its own perspective to have a finite beginning and an end, a big bang and also a big crunch at the point of the singularity. But in the absolute sense, there is no beginning nor end. New universes are flowing continuously in an infinite cycle from the point of singularity, with each new universe unaware of the infinite others that permeate its fabric. In many ways, these other universes occupy the same space and the same time as all the universes within the continuum. Each universe permeates the infinite others within the continuum simultaneously. Yet, each universe may be unaware of the others because the different laws that govern the energy that vibrates within each universe is unique. Each universe is only aware of energy within the fabric of space-time that is governed by the same laws. Each new universe is equivalent to what string theorists and physicists refer to as brains, B-R-A-N-E-S. With strings of energy connected to each brain, or the unique fabric of space-time within each individual universe, because the strings of energy are only aware of other strings that are attached to the same brain, because these strings are in harmony with the same vibrational laws of physics, each universe interpenetrates the others, but yet remains unaware of the others that penetrate its fabric. Again, each brain that flows out from the singularity of the space-time continuum can be equivalent to a new universe. And these new universes, or brains, interpenetrate the fabric of all others, but are only aware of those universes or brains that have strings attached to them which use the same laws of physics by which each brain is governed. Hypothetically, if it were possible to shift your awareness and consciousness outside of the space-time continuum, separate universes within the continuum would not appear finite or separate from each other at all. The continuum would appear as a continuum of undifferentiated flows of energy returning and simultaneously emerging from the point of singularity within the continuum. It would be obvious from that perspective of outside of the continuum of space-time that as energy flows out of the singularity it is continuously restructuring itself forming endless brains or endless universes simultaneously. The past, present and future of each universe would be seen as one whole, with the point of the big crunch and the big bang of each universe being the same infinite point. In part two of this series, we are going to investigate the nature of the void from which the space-time continuum exists. In other words, we are going to investigate what might exist outside of the space-time continuum itself.